Hey, welcome back. Today we are making vegan sweet potato black bean tacos, so stay tuned. We're gonna start by chopping two to three sweet potatoes, depending on the size. These ones are fairly small, so I'm just gonna do um, three of these. But you wanna get about a half inch dice. Now we have our sweet potatoes all diced up. I ended up going with just two of them because it ended up being more than I thought it was gonna be. So we're gonna toss these into a pan that's over medium heat. And then what we're gonna do, we're going to just um, cover it with enough water or add enough water to just barely cover the sweet potatoes. And then we're gonna let that come to um, a little boil and then cover it with a lid to steam. These are gonna take about 15 to 20 minutes to start to soften. So around that point, then we will resume with the recipe. Let's take a look at our sweet potatoes. Ooh. All right, yeah, it's been about 15 minutes or so, 15, 18 minutes. They're starting to get soft, you can see. There we go. Um, so now we are going to add, this is two cans of drained and rinsed black beans. There they go. And now we are going to season it. So we will need a little extra splash of water, I'd say about a half cup. And then to that, we will add a couple tablespoons of tomato paste. In the UK, I believe this is known as tomato puree. That's what I always hear avant-garde vegan saying. And let's just do like half the can. I like it really saucy. <laughs> there we go. Stay, okay. Um, so now for the other seasonings, we're going to add um, some onion powder. And I don't really measure my seasonings. You can just add however much you like. Now we're gonna add some garlic powder. Whatever your heart's desire. Exactly, just make your heart happy. This is chili powder. Good amount of that. It's about a teaspoon. And then cumin. You want almost equal parts cumin and chili powder. Uh, what else? We have smoked paprika for a little extra smoky kick to it. Just a little bit of that. Um, and then of course, our good old friends, salt and pepper. Uh, I am gonna have to turn this back up though. <laughs> Black pepper. All right, go ahead and give that a good stir. If, uh, if you need more water to dissolve the tomato paste, you can definitely add another splash of that, which I think I'm gonna have to do. But just go ahead and mix this thoroughly and then simmer it for another five, 10 minutes till it's a good texture that you like. I ended up adding almost another cup of water to this mixture just to really dissolve the tomato paste and make it nice and saucy because that was quite a bit of beans <laughs> actually in the end. Um, but you don't—you just want to add just enough water to really incorporate the the tomato paste and get an even texture. You don't want it to be soupy. It's not meant to be like a chili or a stew, just enough to really grab all those seasonings. This next one is optional, but oh, I, stuff. yeah, this is, can you see that? Yeah. All right, these are molasses, blackstrap molasses. Optional, but it does add a little extra something, something, a little extra smokiness slash sweetness that pairs well with the sweet potato and the black beans. So I'm gonna go with about a teaspoon, teaspoon and a half. 
and then stir that into there as well. And by the way, molasses is also a great little trick um, to add to, like if you ever make a chili or some kind of stew that you just want a little extra like richness, smokiness, almost like a barbecue undertone, um, that'll go really well. So we're gonna um, just let this simmer for a few more minutes until it's nice and thick and incorporated. And then we can warm up our tortillas and assemble our tacos. All right, let's go ahead and uh, what I've done, I've warmed up some corn tortillas on the stove. Ooh, pretty hot. And then basically, I'm gonna let this one cool down a little bit. That's too hot. But what I've done here with these ones, I've um, added a little scoop of our black bean potato, sweet potato mixture, added some um, red cabbage. Green cabbage works well too. I've got some cilantro on here and some sliced avocado. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and do that with this one now that it's more manageable. So just a little scoop right there. You don't wanna overfill these because when you eat them, you don't want it to just all ooze out of the tortilla at once. So here we go, our cabbage, our cilantro. You can pretty much add whatever toppings you like. If you like, um, if you like diced white onion, you can definitely do that as well. And then our avocado. And then when you eat these, um, option to add a little squeeze of fresh lime on top. That's always a really nice little addition. And also option to add a little hot sauce. I've got some organic jalapeno hot sauce from O Brothers. This video is not sponsored, but they make some good sauces. So totally optional if you wanna add a little bit of that as well. And I would just add that on as you're eating it depending on how much heat you want. Take a look at our lovely sweet potato black bean tacos. Mm, mm, mm. They smell like tacos, what can I say? All right, so this is what we're gonna do. A little squeeze of lime. I already have some hot sauce on there. I hope it's not too much. It's a little spicy. Yeah, I haven't tried this hot sauce yet, so we will see. I've got my water ready just in case. Ooh, okay. You gotta try to hold it together. You gotta like hold the back end of it. And then I should bring this closer just in case too. Yeah, and then you just take a bite. Go ahead. Okay. Mm. <laughs> okay, the mixture is really good. Um, let's try this again. Mm hmm. Not some avocado that time. Oh yeah, I can see why. Maybe I should have used two tortillas per taco. It starts kind of... Show me. Starts kind of falling apart on the bottom a little bit. So if you want it sturdier, the thing to do is you warm up two tortillas and like just stack two tortillas before you assemble it. It's spicy with the hot sauce, but it's actually pretty good. Mm. Like I said, not sponsored, but if you want to support a small local business, we got Old Brothers Organic Jalapeno Hot Sauce. They sell it online. Oh, they sell it at Sprouts. And it's, like I said, it's all organic stuff. They don't has doesn't have any weird ingredients or anything. I think they're a San Diego company. Yeah, 
They're from San Diego, my hometown. Um, yeah, comment below if uh, you want to see more Mexican-inspired recipes on the channel. We're in Hispanic Heritage Month right now, so I thought this was perfect. And the sweet potatoes, it's got kind of that fall theme going on. Hit the like button if you want to see more stuff like this. And I'll see you next week. Be sure to subscribe. Bye. Show me the inside. Oh, yeah. Look at the inside. Take a bite. Okay. <laughs> I know you're waiting to eat some of this, too. <laughs> mm. I love it. It's like smoky and sweet and spicy. You gotta make these. It was pretty easy too. It's done in like under 30 minutes. So mm. make these sweet potato black bean tacos. Adios. Mm -hmm.